Richard Southern is back with us now. It's Friday, and that means there is going to be a plenty of fun stories to be had. Uh, let's start with Chipotle in the States and what's happening with some automation taking place. Well, first off, I find Chipotle delicious. Don't you agree, Mark? I love to get the bowls and the For fast guacamole. food, it's not bad. I like the authentic stuff, but uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I agree. And I actually like talking to the, you know, the people. <laughs> um, I'm very lonely, Mark. I enjoy talking to the people on the Chipotle line when they're making my bowl. Now, look at this. They have robots doing it increasingly. Uh, Chipotle showing off some new robotics it's putting in some of its stores. It's called the hyphen robot. When an order is placed, uh, it uses uh robotic arms to move the bowl along the assembly line uh, to shoots that dispense the ingredients as the customer wants. Now, Chipotle contends it's not going to be replacing those people I like to chat with. Instead, it's going to use this robot to streamline its digital orders, which surpassed $3 billion in sales last year. Mark, they found the robot to be a little bit more accurate in getting people's order right. A anything to make it that much more efficient, right, in those situations. And the I robot doesn't like push you into the guacamole. What's that? The robot doesn't push the guacamole on you quite as aggressively that's, as the humans good. do. I appreciate that. Uh, we're talking about a famous painting next. Uh, obviously, everyone remembers Bob Ross and his televised painting sessions. But this, this particular painting went for a very high price. It was the painting he did on his very first Joy of Painting show on PBS in 1983. Here it is. It's called A Walk in the Park, he called it. And uh, I have just confirmed this, Mark. It was sold to an unidentified buyer for $9.8 million U.S. dollars. Wow. Um, of course, the Joy of Painting, if you don't know, uh, ran from 1983 to 1994, but has really uh, had a cult following ever since. You can watch it on all the streaming services. Bob Ross taught you how to do these landscape oil paintings. He passed away in 1995. I'd love to put that show on. It's very relaxing, I find, Mark, to watch him paint. Did he ever do a self-portrait? I'm curious. I don't think so. He had that great worth, hair. Yeah, he had, he had the fantastic hair. He was worth looking he had, at. He, he had like a little... That. He had little quips. I remember he made a, a crooked bush, a bush once in a painting. He goes, oh, that's crooked. That bush should be uh, sent to Washington because it's crooked. Yeah. I thought that was funny. You were obviously a fan. Uh, one last story <laughs> before we go. Uh, a short-lived name change it took place uh, recently. Oscar Mayer's famous vehicle is back on the road, and the name is back as well. The Wienermobile is back, Mark. Uh, four, <laughs> four months ago, Oscar Mayer... Uh, controversially changed the name of this to the Frank Mobile. Uh, people were not particularly happy with that, apparently. Today, Oscar Mayer says the Wiener Mobile rides again. They have a number of these promotional vehicles. They've been around these cars since uh, 1936. People who drive them are known as hot doggers. I'd love to see you roll into City Hall for one of your, your big scrums in the Wiener Mobile. Mark. If, only, if only they came to Toronto. I know that you can actually track them. Online, oh. there are three rolling through the United States. If you ever wanted to cross the border and check one out, I'm sure you can. That's my weekend set. I'm going to track the Wiener Mobile. There you go, <laughs> <laughs> Richard Southern. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your weekend. Mark, you're a good man. Have a good weekend.